Hey guys, next up we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 114 Transformers 1 Megatron. So there he is in his robot mode, side of the box, back of the box, Megatron, Megatron, other side of the box, top of the box, bottom of the box, yada yada. Here is Megatron in his tank mode. He... <laughs> Like the front's really long. That's the thing with this figure in general is his legs are really long. I don't understand why. I don't get it. Right, here we are. So his the the tank turret can turn a little bit. It's not five millimeter for it because it's a separate piece. And there you go. Yeah, Megatron does Megatron things. So to transform him, we're gonna we'll just remove that. Take these pieces apart. We'll just leave that off for now. We'll disconnect these things. Disconnect. There we go. Get that out of the way. Straighten out the legs. Flip. Flip. Turn. Turn. Bend the foot down. Close that up. Same thing over here. Bend that down. There we go. Rotate the legs around like that. Then we're going to bend that up, flip his chest up. Flip that, and then turn the hand around. And we're just going to straighten that out, make sure you get the hands in the right position, turn the head around, and then you can just start attaching pieces again. So plug that back in. Make sure you have his arms in the right position, which I failed for both of them. <laughs> Give him his fusion cannon. These guns, you can do a lot with them. He can hold them. He can put them on his back. I just keep them on his back. And um, this gun can either go on his arm, like right there, or it can go on his, or it can store in his back where the or the uh, fusion cannon was. I'll just leave it on his back for the sake of this review. And there you go. And I don't like him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of this guy. Um, his legs. He he joins the uh, Beast War Machine Cheetor and Ultra Magnus Club as being mostly leg. He's um. He's, his legs are ridiculous. His head's on a full 360. Rotation at the shoulders. In and out. Turn at the bicep. Double elbow joint. Wrist swivel. Rotation at the waist. Legs can go forward. Back. In and out. He can... No, he can't turn there. That's right. It's a joint. But he can turn here. He's got a knee. He's got an ankle pivot. So, you know, he's got articulation. It's just... Nah, I'm not, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really feeling this guy. Um, I, and I think it's the legs. I, he just, he looks funny to me. His transformation's fine. I just, I just think he looks weird. I don't know. He's just funny looking, which is kind of, it's, it's kind of shallow that I'm judging it based on his appearance. Like, I get it. But he's not a human, he's an action figure. And I just, I don't know. I don't care for this guy. I'm not feeling him. I don't ever really have the urge to pick him up. In terms of the two Transformers 1 figures I have, which are him and Optimus, I like Optimus more. Um, if they do, like, a Brave Commander type thing with him, like they did with Optimus, I will get it, because I think it'll probably be better. They probably won't. It's probably just going to be a one and done with Optimus. So this might be all we get for Megatron, which is unfortunate, because he's not great. And expect to see him on another figure at the beginning of next... Another video at the beginning of next year. So, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it wasn't overly positive, but I just, I can't deny how I feel about figures, and I'm not big on him. I don't like him. I just, I just, I just don't. Sorry. But, yeah, I'm not feeling him. Oh, he has a wrist start. He has a wrist swivel, too, in case that does anything for you. Um, yeah, I'd pass, honestly, I'd pass on him. I don't think he's great, but what do I know? Anyway, have a good one, guys. Take care.